all right with that? Anyway, I um, said, okay, I'm going to write something. And I started putting my little notes down on paper next to the bed. You have one of those pads next to the bed? And I'd wake up in the middle of the night, I'd write something down, I'd write something down. All of a sudden, I realized I'm getting this long list of things I'm thinking of. And suddenly, it came to me. What I did is I said, what makes Joel Smith so special? The question. The answer is in 70 short phrases for his 70th birthday. And I, the, when he said, you want to speak? I said, you want me to read all 70 of them? She said, no, just read a few. Well, that's kind of hard. So just to give you an idea, they were random. She marches to a different drummer. Number two, she's creative and practical. Number three, she makes great broccoli slaw. <laughs> she can use a computer. She enjoys a funny story and tells a funny story. She takes pride in her children and grandkids. She loves to entertain. And it goes on and on and on. It, um, um, she enjoys planning parties. She retains old friendships. She spends time in the pool as well as the kitchen. Uh, she shops at Costco. This is one of my favorite. Even though there are only two mouths to feed. Um, and I ended it with, she, well, a couple of them. She loves her son-in-laws as sons. She keeps up to date on current events. She shows patience even when frustrated. She is, a, and this is the last one, she is adored as a true fan, especially by me. Happy 70th number seven. Since I was told I only had a minute and a half and I've only used a minute, I have to tell a real quick story. I'm gonna do it fast, so stay with me. Jewel and I got commissioned by Olive Shalom, Ed Hoffman, um, to put together a surprise party for his wife's birthday. <laughs> of all the stories with Jewel, we had to come up with a surprise party for Marilyn. What fun we had. And I picture us, or you, me, one of us at the front of the bus. We, we had a school bus. bus. <laughs> we told we Marilyn to pack her bags. To take a suitcase. <laughs> and everybody had a suitcase. Everybody's suitcase was empty, but Marilyn's was packed. <laughs> we drove to the, to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And Lester's. <laughs> oh my God, that was so the afterward. So we drive to Fort Lauderdale Airport. The bus driver opens the bus. She's all excited. <laughs> she announces, oh my God, I forgot the tickets. <laughs> and I said, what are we going to do? We can't go on the trip. And she's all like, what do you mean I'm not going on a trip? <laughs> so we took her to Lester Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> on State Road 84. Now there was a new one. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so, fun. And, and I love this lady. Oh, she has no idea how much fun we've had. And, and of another, all the things so I have on there, of all daughter. 70, your creativity <laughs> met, met my need for creativity. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm Linda Goldman, a.k.a. Jules laugh mate. We do a lot of laughing together, a lot. And crying, and crying everything that goes okay. together. But today we're going to laugh a little bit. Yes, I hope. yes, yes. Okay. Um, can you all remember the day that you got a brand new car? You were quietly excited. It was shiny. It had that new car smell. It was spotlessly clean, just perfect inside and out. You were so proud to ride in it. And that was how it was with Jewel and her brand new car. <coughs> Even drivers passing her smiled as they glanced at it. But for different reasons. Please let me explain. I had really looked forward to spending another one of my ladies day outings with Jewel. She insisted on driving, secretly showing off the car, which was brand new. As a matter of fact, it was only a couple of days old. Yes. It was shiny. It was perfect inside and out. I guess our non-stop talking led to a wrong street, and so Jewel decided to make a U-turn in someone else's driveway. <laughs> All was good and well until I noticed that a very large, sturdy mailbox was slowly moving in our direction <laughs> towards her side of the mirror. Ever hear of Murphy's Law? Oh yeah, it did go wrong. No longer was that perfect car symmetrical. Now it had an imposing chunk of metal entangled with wires dangling on the left side. It made the loudest noise against the car as we drove. But I don't know which was louder, our laughter 
or the rhythm of that sound. The bang, the bang, the bang against the car. The tears were actually rolling down our cheeks, especially watching Jewel with her arm out the window, trying to silence the tangle of mirrors and wires. No one was hurt, thank goodness, but it was the ludicrous situation we found ourselves in that made everything seem so funny. We probably looked like a TV episode on American Pickers. Now you can understand why all those drivers were smiling at us as they passed Jules' new, but not so perfect anymore car. But we had to think quick. What's Larry going to say when he sees it? We already forgot about our Ladies' Day plans. How are we going to get that car fixed before going home? Oh, did I forget to tell you it was a Sunday when there were no repair places open. So, after toying with many ideas between hysterics, we wound up back at the dealership. He looked up at the purchase papers, which was more like staring at a birth certificate, okay, because for a brand new car. After all, that car was just freshly out of the womb. And then he laughed with us. So sympathetic to our cause and realizing that we could have been two ladies in distress, he decided to give the car a temporary $1.98 cosmetic makeover. <laughs> so he duct taped the entire mirror to the car, probably reducing its value by one third had we gone to a nearby CarMax, but he finally silenced that kapang kapang sound for the remainder of our trip home. What a hoot that was. Larry didn't even we, so, the irony of the whole story, you're right, was that Larry didn't even see the bandages on the vehicle since we maneuvered it in such a way that it was hidden in the garage. Well, sort of, right? Well, I guess there's no moral to this story other than the fact that two great friends had 2002 great laughs that day. Jewel, thanks for the laugh, and most of all, thanks for the memories. I hope our friendship continues and that we laugh for another 70 years together. I love you. You look wonderful. Good